So now that we have uh, made this post work for the cat model so we can actually start creating cats in our database, we're going to try to do something we call refactoring. We're going to try and make our code um, prettier, similar to read. By splitting it into multiple files, you can do other things, uh, but this is what I'm going to aim at right now. I'm going to make one new file and I'm going to move all of this information into that file to make the index.js look as simple as the one we have for employees. We just want the index.js file to take care of figuring out if we hit the get request, what to do. If we hit a post request, what should we do, etc. etc. That's all the index file should do for us. It should tell us where to go. It shouldn't do all the complex things. We'll let the controller take care of that. So we're going to build the same setup that um, the, the full stack application did for us when we made the first employee setup here. So what do I need to move? Well, I need to move a lot. So let me just start out by just pasting things together here so you can see what I want to move. So first of all, I want to move this entire function. I want it to be, <clears throat> I'll just cut this now and move it to the cat controller. Joints, I'll paste it in here. We'll work on it in a second. I'll also move the mongoose setup and the model to the other, pro, um, other file right here, there we go. So now that's out of the way and the file starts looking a lot simpler. Now, how do we call this? Well, the first thing is we need to know of the controller. So we need to, like we require express here, we also have to require our controller. And this is how you look for another file in this system, right? So you write require like this, and then in here you make a dot slash, meaning I'm looking in the same folder you're already in. Like right now I want to find the one in the cat folder called cat.controller, not .js. Just like this. You can do .js, but you don't have to. It knows it's looking for JS. Now that's the first step. Now I have access to the cat controller file. The next thing I need to do is then say, whenever you hit the post route with, with nothing in it, I want you to actually create, right? I want you to create a cat. You remember the CRUD setup? Now this is how we want to create a new cat. So I need to make a new function now inside the control class. And that's what we're going to do now. So this is all fine and running now, but we need to of course set it up in here as well. Now we already import Mongoose. We require that, so that's fine. We also made our cat model using Mongoose, so that's also fine. That was just code copied from the index, right? Then we have the function here, and that's actually the one we want to call now. So we want, when we write create, we want the controller to do this, right? So we are going to use something called export to tell the JavaScript files that it's allowed for other people from outside my file to use this function. And then we're going to make call it a function because that's what we're making and then we're going to write create because that's the name of the function right so writing the export function create pretty much just means that now other people can use this so if we go back to the index just to show you it actually says now i have access to that controller that has a function called create and if i undo this i just want to show you this um, let me just undo here just to show what's actually here before du -du -du. This is the actual function that I just moved to the other class. So that's all it takes. I'm just splitting up the code to make it simpler to read in the future. Because if I had the functions in here for every one of my routes, this class would explode in size, right? So that's why I want to split it up. Let's go back to the cat controller. So now it says I want to export a function called create. And that create has a request, a response, and then it kind of just does, does what we did before. Then in the end here, I just want to do a semicolon to end this. And if we go to our postman now and send a new cat, hopefully everything is running. Ta-da, we still have a cat running, everything is working. The only difference is now we split up into two files instead of the single file that would explode in size when we were done.